good morning, friends. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's start the video with coffee. Let's start all the things with coffee. Yay, I'm able to drink a little bit of coffee now. So welcome back for another week in the life where I am going to share with you the different things I'm spinning as a large family mama of nine with eight still at home, one of those eight in utero, but that's okay. He still counts, so I'm pregnant with baby number nine. I work more than full-time hours spinning all the things I spin online. Uh, we homeschool, we got, we got stuff coming up. So right now I got two boys outside doing animals. I'm getting ready to go outside, feed the ponies, tend to some chicken water, do some things along those lines. Once animal jobs are done, we will come in for the final, hey, if you didn't feed yourself breakfast this morning, go ahead and get yourself some breakfast, get yourself cleaned up for the day, get school going. Four of the kids out with my husband right now doing a morning music lesson run. A teenage girl getting herself ready right now. Lots of various things happening. Tomorrow I have want to give you the itinerary rundown. And of course, I'm sure things I don't expect will happen as well. So today, supposed to get the pool finished. That'll be this afternoon. Then tomorrow I have doctor's appointments. And the next day I go out of town on a work trip for three days, kind of doing a mastermind work weekend with my good friend Ashley Bufa from Freedom Moms. Uh, next week we're going to the safari park. Yeah, so just spinning stuff. So let's go feed some animals. Morning, Biscuits. How you doing, Fat Kitty? How you doing? The goats and the sheep are talking to you. I hear them. Good morning. Good morning. Boys are already down yonder letting the ducks and the geese and the chickens out. You hear those morning animal noises. I know the crickets are pretty intense right now, but um, for our rescue pony that we've been working with following my mom's rescue pony diet and such that she has done with her rescue horses. Um, some of you have asked me what we're feeding him. Um, so this is a senior weight accelerator. And then we've got Triple Crown Senior Feed, high fat, high fiber, has probiotics, and then Beet Pulp. These items are measured out for them twice a day and then soaked for at least six hours. Um, this is not too exciting. What it looks like, that's the fat accelerator on the top. That's what it looks like right now. I will add a little more water to it and stir it up so it expands. It has already expanded in volume. It just helps uh, a rescued horse, especially an older horse. He's already had his teeth floated, which is a procedure uh, that we'll do in uh, geriatric care horses. He's 17 and this particular breed of pony lives, it's, he's a hackney, lives well into their 30s with proper care so he's still you know even my grandchildren will ride him and because of what he's been through and his healing process this is the best way to feed him right now based on my mama's expert experience so here's his feed not too exciting just stirred it up of course he gets free choice of hay all day long He's getting this twice a day. When my mom says it's time, we will increase the beet pulp and we'll also start adding alfalfa cubes in there as well and soak that. Oh, I hear you, good boy. Slurp, slurp, yummy, yummy. Such a good boy. Maybe it's all brushed out. Yeah, yeah, we'll get all his brushing stuff out maybe later this afternoon. And then this can be like I spy. You know what this is? This is a snow shovel full of pony poop. <laughs> this was from about the last 24 hours or so. So every day I take the shovel in there, scoop it into it, and then put it out here on our, our growing compost. And there's still one more pile in there I gotta go after. It's a small one, uh, but do this every day. Keeps his area nice and helps grow compost for next year's garden. So happy afternoon, Travis brought me home my iced coffee treat. We're walking now, Travis has been working with his equipment, getting a big, I'll call it trail or path or what have you around the perimeter of our property. I'm thinking right now we'll do fencing up to it. There's another row of fencing, fencing up to it, but then use this for like a riding trail and bike trail and yeah, different things we'd want trails for. You know, we love walking trails. Woo, are you a pony? We're on our pony path. We'll use this path for riding. What, honey? You could, let's get walking. I'll do that tomorrow. Okay, let's go. And then in here, we got a whole other 
big chunk of woods for things. Come on, Benny. Okay, you can tell Daddy to fix that. Let's go. Why does Falcon need a hoverboard if he has... Hello friends. <laughs> Today we're watching Jamarelle look for her keys. I am, oh there they are. Thank you keys. I'm going out and about today. Got two doctor's appointments. Gonna go to some thrift stores. Got nobody with me. Who even am I? I like to at least take a kid or two with me when I go out. Um, usually one of the older kids just for when I end up turning whatever I do into a fun day for us. But right now, especially with doctor's appointments, no one else can go in with me and all of life is complicated and it's a lot of waiting in the car and stuff. So I'm just going by myself. And pool, pool water is coming. Loads and loads of pool water. They've brought three truck fulls so far. I think it's gonna take seven or eight and things are happening. So Travis is home with a whole lot of kids doing a whole lot of things. I'm watching them right now. One of them does have the leaf blower and is cleaning the leaves off the top of our, um, sorry, I gotta do my going out glitter on my nails. Um, getting the leaves off the top of the chicken yard and the duck yard, uh, just a variety of things. But we're going out, so let's All go. All right, happy Friday. This is, this is what it takes for mom to go out of town for two nights. Uh, three days, two nights. Family's gonna take me, drop me off today. I'm having my working weekend trip with my friend Ashley. And uh, I'm just getting my piles together of stuff that needs to go with me. No, some of you, I gotta squat down here, um, have asked me for makeup updates, makeup tutorials. So can I fit that in this video? Why not? I'm here doing my makeup anyway. And I got everything for a sharp shopper haul here looking at me. So oh, yeah, okay. So as always, because this is what I do, I usually have a cover girl. What is this? This is a classic ivory, a cover girl pad and I rub that all over my face. And I'm just used to hair being all over me. You cleaning up? Kids are cleaning their rooms. Lots of things happening right now. Did I just get that in my eye? No. And I have pretty much used something like this CoverGirl not powder foundation stuff uh, since I was a teenager and I don't know what else to do, and I don't really care, so there's that. <laughs> and then, CoverGirl stick under the eyeballs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then on my little spot on my cheek that I got when I was 35. A little something extra there, a little bonus points. Okay, and then some blush. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can't really see it, can't really tell, but I put it on there. Eyebrows are such a thing, such a thing. So I don't wanna go have more eyebrows sewed into my head. Um, I've seen the younger girls, the younger moms who have like stencils and you can see the hair, but then they've obviously like drawn on a whole other eyebrow. It looks great on them, I don't wanna do that. So don't make fun of the middle-aged lady with her little eyebrows, uh, I don't have too much exciting going on up there. Except when I go to have my hair done, like every six weeks or so, I have her use the wax on my eyebrows and uh, comb them out, straighten them up a little bit. So, bearing all, I don't know if I can do this. So anyway, I just usually do a little bit of light pencil on there. And oh my, the eyebrow reviews I have gotten over the years on YouTube. Sometimes in my old videos, you can see where I don't know what to do, so I try to grow them out. Sometimes I pluck them wrong. I actually have one that only grows halfway. Let's just talk about my eyebrow dilemmas. Okay, biggest question I receive are about my lip glosses. So here's my current one. All of these, oh, I still got the brand on. These all happen to be L'Oreal. This one you can tell is almost done. This is the one I've been wearing a lot lately this fall. It is called L'Oreal Paris. Sangria 
705. So the darker color, you ladies who are liking that, this lighter one, this is 115 blush. And then this one I liked a lot. It's called, it's, I would say it's a coral. It's called Fiery. It's 305. So usually in the description of every video, I have uh, different lip glosses I've worn at different times. It's based on what I can find at, at the Walmart. Um, but these L'Oreal's I've been able to find in recent months. Sometimes I can't find those and I can find Burt's Bees. Um, sometimes CoverGirl, might, you know, it's just whatever the drugstore or Walmart makeup. And I like them shimmery, funny story. So you see where my lip goes in there? And it looks like maybe I had a cleft lip when I was a child or something. It's actually beat up at a bowling alley by my friend's mom. Can you believe that? When I was eight years old, I was a family I had spent a lot of time with. This is story time with Jamerell. We'd spent a lot of time with, had lots of sleepovers and just wonderful times for a year or so. So we didn't think anything of me going that weekend to spend the weekend with her family. And we went to a bowling alley. And um, I guess now I'm telling the whole story. <laughs> we went to a bowling alley and her boyfriend, they had been drinking which again, my mom would not have let me go if we would have known these details. My mom was out of town on a trip with my aunt that weekend. My dad was at home. So again, these are things like, some things you just don't know. Um, so they had been drinking and they asked what kind of candy bar I wanted from the candy bar machine. And I said Reese Cup because you know, Reese Cups are my favorite. They brought back a baby Ruth. And so at eight years old, I said, Oh man, I, I really want Reese cups. Maybe I even whined, I don't know. But her mom, in a drunk rage, dug her fingernails into me, dragged me across the bowling alley, into the bathroom. During that time, I'm screaming the whole time, you are not my mom, you are not my mom, get off me. Nobody help me. One of those infuriating things. Nobody help me. Dragged me in the bathroom, uh, picked me up, slammed me against some walls. The Lord protected me. I know some of you will be like, how did the Lord protect you? But I mean, she didn't kill me, didn't crack my skull open. I have this scar <laughs> I live to tell about on my lip. Uh, slammed me into, my, into some walls, picked me up, slammed me on the counter, and with her hands like this, like she just digging her fingernails, started slamming my head against the mirror. Obviously that busted my lip open, but again, Praise God, it didn't crack my head open. Um, so that was awful. And I go out and I love, you know, even as a kid, you get that self-advocate going. Um, I just remember at eight knowing that this was not right and knowing that she should not have touched me. And so I go out bleeding, um, go up to the counter at the bowling alley and I just start telling them this, my friend's mom beat me up. Obviously I had just been attacked. Friend's mom beat me up the bowling alley. Um, they didn't know what to do, but praise the Lord, there was another mom there with her kids who saw me and who heard my story. And that lady had the sense to walk me over to a payphone and to stay with me and I know now as a mom, like she was breathing heavy. She was getting worked up as, a, as, as upset. Someone should have called the police, you know, but what do you do? That lady, we called my dad. So I, I'm telling my dad the situation. And my dad, instead of coming to get me, has them bring me home. Again, it's just like, why? So they bring me home and my friend's mom screams at me the whole time about what an awful person I am, how I'll never see her daughter again, how I did all this. It's just obviously a real horrific experience here in 41 sharing it. So when we go back to <laughs> why is my lip crooked? That's my story. We all have different scars and stories that we take with us. And now while I'm here doing my makeup in the middle of this vlog, you now know why I have a crooked lip. Uh, maybe I'm proud of my crooked lip. What would be the right word? It's a, uh, it's just a mark from life. I never even noticed it that much until I started doing YouTube. And you can see my lip definitely, let's analyze it, definitely raises up more there. Um, and at one point I thought, oh, my lip's crooked. Maybe I can't even show my face on YouTube. But it's a story. I lived through it. And what can I say? God is still good. 
I live to tell about it. He protected me through it. And that's just a small story, but I know we all have our stories. And I think our stories should be heard. And I know that no matter what my stories are, the Lord has walked me through them all, even if they're horrific at the time. So there you go. Let's finish our makeup. Okay, so then, then on to happy makeup tales. I have, it's kind of like a champagne color, shimmery, CoverGirl, eye enhancers. What's the color here? Oh, it is called champagne. Champagne 710. So I just kind of put that up. I don't always take it all the way up to my eyebrow. Sometimes I do. Here's the new thing I'm doing in life. I got this, uh, I learned you call it a palette. I got this at Walmart. Um, maybe last year or last winter. It's just beautiful, okay? Don't know exactly what to do with it. I did a lot of um, the different eyeshadow combinations as a teenager. But what I've been doing recently, which just makes me feel a little kicky, I really like this gold, and it is fall, and I, it could be all wrong, it's okay. This color here, what is it even called? Hmm. Anyway, so I take that and I put it in the corners. And my teenage daughter tells me this is okay. So I'm just kind of go like that. Now I've taken the smaller end and kind of done it a little smaller through the crevice. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so then I do that. Then I don't really know what else I should do. So then, take this eyeshadow. And I kind of go back and make sure I didn't make any horrific mistakes. And then in the summer, a lot of you have asked me about this. I really love, and again, these are like my teenager colors from the 90s. Um, what is this even called? It's a sparkling silver, and this is a Maybelline. And see, it's really light and shimmery. I just really like that. Uh, CoverGirl used to have a really thick pencil of this. And so in my early 20s, I wear the thick pencil on the top. But anyway, um, and then I have a Revlon Color Stay. It's a charcoal. Oh, I just lost it. Oh, I hate that. Last little bit fell out. Maybe I can, I have to go to the drugstore today to get some more shampoo. But anyway, it's like this. So because it's been summer, I've been wearing this a lot. But because now it's fall, I've been doing this. So let's see if I can do this in my camera. Do my top line. This may end up being too thick because, sorry, I gotta get all up in your business here to see. Okay, so top line. And then <clears throat> I do, I don't always do this but yet again I do. So I do the bottom. Sometimes I'll do that around the outside and then put this on the inside. Uh, then faithful, old faithful eyelash curler. Sometimes, I, I don't always wear fake eyelashes. I haven't worn them, I don't know, probably in a year or so, but sometimes I do and that feels like I'm doing something. I do have, I think, I'll talk good about my eyelashes. I do have pretty decent eyelashes. They're okay. Where I can use them with a curler and put mascara on them and look like I have eyelashes. And I do not put mascara on the bottom. So that just never goes well with me. Okay, and then I just, I haven't washed my hair in a few days, so pulled it up in a clip and I got some curl things coming. And I feel like I got a weird shadow, but that's okay. Thanks for uh, doing my makeup with me. And of course, it won't all fit back in. I guess maybe today, when I go to get my shampoo on the way for this trip, maybe I can get a bit of bigger makeup bag. Hmm. Could happen. Also cleaned out my purse. Oh, I'll also show you this. Because mm -hmm. I got my contacts again yesterday. And then I couldn't, uh, I had the sun coming at me and I felt like a vampire. I got these at Sharp, no, Goodwill. Goodwill for a dollar. So those are gonna be my purple Big Mama glasses. 
And uh, that's it. So let me get this stuff filmed now. I don't have anything really perishable in front of me, except some bagels that were in the freezer that can go in the refrigerator now. So, yay. Well, I'm here. I made it. I'm by myself in a hotel room. Who am I? I think Ashley. She's, we've got adjoining rooms, but she was recording a podcast. So Travis and the kids dropped me off. Ended up, I just like turn all the lights on when I get in someone new. It's like, hey. They dropped me off, but it was the wrong building. But I checked in there and then they had the, cause I'm obviously a mom loaded down with all my real classy tractor supply bag luggage. Gave me a ride on the golf cart over here to my building. This is where I'm staying. It's Forest Head Resort in Charlottesville, Virginia. It's kind of right in the middle for Ashley and I. And yeah, so we're here. I'm working this weekend. And I'm gonna talk about babies and business with one of my best friends. It'll be lots of fun, but let me give you a room tour. Best friends, this is future Jay Morrell here. Mm -hmm. I dr I'm dropping into this video, this Week in the Life video that I filmed two weeks ago. Future Jay Morrell is filming this segment now to remind you that the entire large family table shop is on sale right now up to 75% off. What I am currently doing, I've got 12 pounds of sausage, one in my cast iron Dutch oven, one in my cast iron pan, because I am filming 40 breakfast freezer meals this afternoon for my brand new large family freezer meal pack 10. Then this weekend, I'm gonna cook up pack 11, which is full of kids' lunches, and then I'm gonna cook up pack 12, which is full of wonderful, healthy dinners for the entire family. All 12 of my large family freezer meal packs are included in my mega get it all deal that you can click the first link in the description below. You get everything in my shop, all of those freezer cooking packs, my different slow cooker meal plans, bacon cookbook, another freezer meal book, it's a lot, It's a, that's why it's a mega deal. Hi Amelia. It's mega and lots. You can get the entire shop for up to 75% off. It is officially 75% off with the mega deal. So run over there now, limited time sale, but I haven't done a sale in over a year. So that's why I'm doing a huge super mega sale for you guys right now. Because several moms have been asking me like, Jay Morrell, when's this going on sale? So here it is, this is your chance to get it. Get it now, first link in the description below. Now we're gonna go back in time to two weeks ago. Yeah, yes, and so we come in, we've got a Colonial Virginia map, yes. Then we have a little desk area, beautiful picture frame. We are right by University of Virginia, so lots of historical things here. Dresser, chair, nice little bench, big bed all to myself, chair, stool, table. Yeah, just lots of fun, lots of fun. And we have a little balcony thing going on here. Actually, big balcony. Hmm, very nice. Very nice. And uh, what I wore, what I wore Friday, right? <laughs> and then over here, I like the barn door. This is nice. This kind of reminds me of a hotel I stayed at in Chicago one time for a conference. But yes, nice door. Nice shower. Yes, this is like what we want one of our, in our hall bathroom. We would like to just put in a big shower like this. Take the tub out. It's my bathroom remodeling ideas. Oh good, I totally forgot to stop and get my shampoo and conditioner. So yay, Boar's Head Resort Special because that's what I'll be. There you go, more towels. Yeah, oh, we have quotes here. We have a Thomas Jefferson quote. You know our practice of placing our guest at their ease. Thomas Jefferson, 1860. But here we go, okay, let's get some work done. Also very important, oh, and they told me they told me refrigerator things. I can have cold applesauce. Hey, robe. Hmm. Extra pillow. I don't need a refrigerator, but he had told me. Oh, there we go. Found it. Let's see if it's plugged in. Maybe I just need to close it. And he said it was complimentary water. This is not $5 a bottle of water. So, yay. Ashley and I have been getting lots of work done. We've been productive. Yes, Facebook ads, email marketing, Shopify stuff. We've been hashing it all out. I'm blinded by the light, but we're, <laughs> we're having an outdoor dinner here at uh, the Mill Room at Boar's Head Resort. So I'll show you around. So here we went out to eat last night and they had these nice little table uh, fires outside. 
And look, we have a water view and all these things that uh, moms don't get to always do. So here's my pretty fancy soup. This is a chicken corn chowder. Okay, now we have some fancy fried green tomatoes. Okay, so this is an amazing salad thing. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it, the salad thing. And then I got some grilled shrimp for on the side, but I'm still gonna look at the dessert menu, so don't think too highly of me. So here's my very fancy apple crumble. It's uh, getting later in the evening now, but I will have no problem eating this. Okay, so we are not in Kansas anymore, ha ha. I got back yesterday from my wonderful mastermind, business-minded mama trip with Ashley doing lots of things. So that was not like a relaxing self-care trip. That was a uh, mama's have a weekend without kids to bust out a lot of stuff. Like several nights I was up till one or two uh, and then got up at seven. One morning I slept in till nine, but just saying like I was tired when I got home yesterday. So now we are on a homeschool field trip and look where this we are. This is not our yard, but it could be. Hey girls, yeah, you gotta let us in. You gotta let us in, gotta let us in, let us in. We got the food buckets. <laughs> I don't I don't know, Mr. Travis might uh, have some road rage here. <laughs> oh, look at him looking. You are being, you are being judged right now. You are being uh, so judged. Okay, whoa. <laughs> Hi, we gotta get in here. You know, you know what's here, yes. So we are at the Virginia Safari Park. Yes, hey girlfriend. And uh, there's giraffes up there. So we're at the drive through park. We're gonna go through. So I guess pull, pull up here so we're officially in. Look, we got a reindeer. And uh, then we can start feeding. Feeding the creatures. Huh, yes, okay, so Daniel unbuckle. Come up here, Daniel. Daddy's gonna have to unroll my window. Look, look. <laughs> come, come to me, come to me. Here they come. Now watch mama. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, no, he Get a little in your hand, and then just like with a pony. I'm feeling followed. Bad yes, because you are. <laughs> we just fed you. What do you want? Buffalo up ahead. Is there a buffalo? Oh yeah, is it a water buffalo? Oh where? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I want to see veggie tails. <laughs> it's a cebu. There's the giraffes in there. Yes, girl. I got your number. I got your number. We fed ya. We fed ya. Can we feed the water buffalo? We'll see. He needs to come to the correct side of the car. <laughs> so we're getting the hang of this. Now it's yeah. Benjamin's turn. You gotta feed him. You gotta hold your hand flat. Oh, 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 okay. Watch me do it one more time. They're, they're really quick. Now I'm gonna put my hand under yours and spread your fingers open. Spread them open. Then leave them open. Woo! <laughs> Good job. You did it. You did it. You handled your business, Benjamin. Good job. Look at this pretty girl. I think you're pretty. Look at her being nosy. We just fed you. We fed you. We're moving on down. Moving on down. There's the giraffes. Can you feed the giraffes? I think we can feed the giraffes in the petting zoo part, honey, but not as part of this ride. Look up ahead, the, the guy with the big horns. Oh, wow. I can't see it. Look at the oh, there's a couple of them. You'll see them in a minute. Are they looking at our, our mirror? <laughs> Travis is somewhat less than amused, but he is, uh, he's getting, he's doing his dad thing, huh? My wife got this idea. Uh, so there's that. There's that out your window. Okay, the llamas are coming, but I was just able to feed this deer. Amelia's coming up to feed him some. Amelia's been feeding. Hi, yes, hello. Here, get it a little food, because they're bossy. There you go, hold it out. There you go. There, I'm pet a llama. There, you did it, you did it. Hey. She's judging us, Amelia. She's the judgy one. She's the judgy one. The one by Daddy's window was great. It had a big blue eye. Oh yeah. <laughs> Neil, me. This the llama by Mommy's window. Window. I fed her, but she's she she sticked her head in. I fed her, but she's trying to get through the window. Yeah, that's an emu and some that's kind of deer. Oh.
There's a pig. There's more more llama girls coming, and I just love the rhinoceroses on the hill. That is so fun. Oh, no, there's... Oh, 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 look, look, look. Okay, so here we are, right up by the rhinoceroses. That is fun. I did not know they had these here. Amelia's trying to feed the baby. You might get a... Here's a big one. That's the style of That style? We do. That's what I like. Good job. Another one. And this one's awesome. not really too sassy. That's good. We like the non-sassy. Don't be sassy, girls. Oh, look at this little sweet one, Amelia. Maybe you can lean out. We're not allowed to open our doors. Yeah, get back, get back. Oh, it's his head under the window. Oh my, you getting him? She does have pretty face, pretty pattern. Come on. Oh, she is so fluffy. Oh. I think, aren't you able to ride them? I don't oh, look think so with hey there. Woo, 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 woo. Yes, yes, that was a judgmental sister girl. Okay, we're trying to aim it so we can get this emu and this deer. Oh, they're going to the wrong side. Okay, Liam's working hard to feed this emu. Oh, baby, see Good job. Good job. So close! Cool. Did it bite or peck hard? Yeah, no, it just went quick. It went quick. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got some ostriches going on. Maybe they'll come around. Are they going to figure it out? It looks like there's some highland cows here, too. That was the kind of one of the breeds I'm researching. They don't get any bigger than that. Hey, hi, buddy. Oh, wait, yes. that's just a moose. Hi. Oh, look at the baby. But see the highland, how they have the hair? Yeah, but look at the baby. Yes, yes, I'm interested in the cow. Look hi, at hi. That Zebras. So we figured out they have the zebra feeding stations. So we're gonna try to get food down the tube, and then the, that zebra. He's a smart guy. Look, he's like he's kicking it. He's like, come on, give me some more. So we're gonna try to put it down the tube. Okay, so it goes down. It's a little slow going. He. That's why he's kicking it. You. You know. I don't know this system. You know it. And then it slides down. There you go, Amelia's doing work. Oh yeah, now two of them have come. And then the deer, they're enterprising deer. They're like, hey, we know how this works. Oh, oh, we got, we got a whole, whole big, <laughs> zebras are helping us. The kids are feeling sorry for the zebras because these other animals are coming out. But they know, they must get something. Okay, so Amelia is gonna work on feeding an ostrich. Is it coming to the bucket? <laughs> Oh! I'm feeding an ostrich! You are feeding an ostrich! Wow! He likes it. <laughs> what did you do in school today, Amelia? I touched an ostrich! An ostrich! Oh man, it's very nice! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was fun! Oh, it's coming back! Okay, so okay, so there's ostriches up here, and Liam is gonna try to fulfill his lifelong dream of feeding an ostrich. Come on. Let's like see. Lamelia did, so let's see. Good job. I got you. No, no, baby. Ew. Good. Oh wow, Liam, you did it. Yay. So there's a traffic jam here and what it is, there's two bucks here in a headlock and then there's a third that comes up and rams into them. So everybody's watching. We are too. We're included in this. Hi. Hi Look girls. They have beautiful eyes. Yeah. There's some more. Okay fine. I'll feed you llamas. Okay. Liam's going to feed some llamas. 
And now the, the deer fight is almost in the middle of the road. Okay, so down there is where the fight, it's now happening in front of the cars. back. Okay. Brown one's shown who bought. Oh, oh, now all three of them are involved. The two spotted are Pushy and the left. They're You're a good sports commentator, Liam. And now they're just looking and now the brown and all oh, of them oh, are fighting. Oh. Now they're a bit funny and... Okay, now they're kind of over it and they're all running that way. These are some pygmy goats. Oh, I think some emus are out there. There's little baby emus out there. Oh, that's so cute. I like their goat playground. They like getting up high like that. It, yes, short and stout. That's a nice looking one, is it? It might be a wither. So this is a Burmese python. I know there's a big reflection, but his head, he's curled up in his house. That's true. There's the, the back of him curled up. We have these watering troughs for everybody. <laughs> so we are so amazed because these monkeys, many of them have babies on their back. Oh. Babies just have good grip. Yeah, the babies do. Well, the babies are older, but see, that baby's like newborn. Yeah, there's a, a very small baby on a mama down there. Okay, so we were joking. This is not a sign you read every day to step around any napping kangaroos. So let's go in. Oh, interesting. Okay, so here's our napping kangaroos. I was just saying that female kangaroos are bluish gray in color and the smaller and faster ones are smaller and faster than males. Yeah. Okay, and then something else we don't see every day. There's a baby kangaroo in the mama's pouch. You boys see that? Yeah, I see it. The mama's pouch. Yeah, it's really neat. Yeah. So something we don't see every day. Big tiger over there. Little boys are watching. Happy evening. It's a uh, see, 6:45. Moon is out. Liam's climbing a tree. It's Thursday now. Didn't film for you yesterday. The day before that, we were at the safari park. Did you see it? We were trying to look at a big piece of equipment they have in this cornfield over here. They should be harvesting this pretty soon. So I have sat for probably six or eight hours today in one chair, and I've been been doing my mama work on my laptop. And so I just realized this evening, ah, oh, my neck and my back hurt. I don't always sit and work straight without getting up, but it just kind of worked out that way. So I'm making myself walk now before I go in. You hear that? We're behind the duck house here, coming up behind it. Do you have a better view? Yeah. It's a cool piece of equipment. Yeah, it's probably, like, do you remember when we went to that um, cow? Farm. Uh -huh. you know that? Yeah, they're big. big that big, big yeah. giant machine that the wheels are. We're learning our, our equipment. Yes. That like one of those big harvesters. Yeah, what was that called? Was it a combine? What? what was that? The combine or the yeah something? It was like a. But it was massive. Yeah, that pro yeah. so they've got one of those out in this cornfield. So I wanted to get out here, and make myself walk for 15 or 20 minutes. Then I'm going to work on one of my one for now one for later casseroles. I don't know what else because I've worked so much today. I'll probably get a shower and maybe we'll watch a movie. I haven't watched a movie in like a week and a half and I like to watch movies once in a while too. Oh, they're singing. This is the side of our duck coop. They're doing a nighttime singing tonight. Did you hear that guinea? Yeah, I was going to say, that the guinea hen? They really got a lot to say tonight. Oh my. <laughs> big, big thoughts and feelings tonight. Those ducks are getting nice and getting their feathers. So everybody's getting super excited because we're out. They're thinking they're getting fed again. But uh, mama ain't feeding nobody right now. I gotta, gotta feed my own people. My people will feed these people a little later. What do you think about your noisy neighbors? 
they have their coop uh, divides here and goes down so it's bigger for the chickens and there's a door into the duck yard but we don't let them we don't let y'all intermingle huh there's mohawk what y'all think oh hey mohawk how you doing So I'm getting ready to do a video. The recipe's over here on my blog. It's a Cajun chicken and sausage casserole. It's uh, dairy free and such. So here's the recipe up over there. I'm doing this because I'm working on a video that's got my one for now, one for later casseroles. You can serve one tonight, put the other one in the freezer. I'm going to just, of course, cook this up, serve both of them. So we might have a little left for lunch tomorrow. But getting ready to, this is like, what, Jamerell behind the scenes, doing one video, then doing another. But I got all my ingredients out, so I'm going to work on pulling this together now. So happy Friday. We are now in the middle of our morning school time. I came outside Ooh. to walk Benny some. Uh, Travis is out getting some bolts he needs for a thing that he got, you know, stuff like that. Uh, my list, my mama work list is deep and wide today, but it's always good to get school a rolling and their curriculum that we're using this year is just really helpful for me as a working mom. Thank you. Liam came out to do his reading with me, so we're going to do that. Everyone else is working on their stuff inside, so it'll be like 20 minutes and then I'll be back in. Just have, hey, you got a kitty? Okay, bring him this way. Meaning, I guess what the only point is, at different times during the homeschool day, you'll have kids and mom in different directions, and you deal with it, right? Okay, Friendly the Homeschool Kitty has come for outside reading now. Okay, you wanna read? You wanna read, Friendly? Also, what's happening today is this afternoon, again, once we wrap up school and such, I'm gonna do a big, a large family freezer cooking afternoon where I'm making about 35 to 40 freezer meals. I put that order in, then also Travis is picking that up around two. A few things I didn't need to add to my order were things like 12 pounds of sausage. So I'm gonna pull that out of my freezer now, let it sit out just a bit, and then get that cooking to prep ahead for this afternoon. When I looked, when I did my Walmart grocery order today, um, sausage, this is some, this ground turkey actually, I got for $1.49 a pound. But anyway, sausage was like 3.50 or so a pound, just for Jimmy Dean. The only reason I was looking is sometimes, like if I have to cook today for a video for you guys, and my meat is frozen, uh, cause yeah, my mama brain, then sometimes I will add that meat to my order so I have fresh meat to go ahead and work with. I have a couple hours though, so I'm going to use this sausage I already have freezing. This is a sausage that has sage in it. It was $1.99 a pound. I got 24 of those from Sharp Shopper a few months ago. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and use, I'll just pull this whole box out and use this in my breakfast freezer cooking this afternoon because I think I got enough time to pull it off. And I brought my chicken bag out to hold my sausage in, but I didn't realize I had these boxes. Yay! And of course, I can get meat cooking from frozen, but it does have to, I'll run cold water on these. Has to defrost just enough to, you know, at least get the package off, right? Right. Let's see, can I open the door? I can do it. Oh yeah, that's why I like those flipper knobs. <laughs> we got Miss Amelia's unload the dishwasher here behind me. This is all the, the 12 pounds of frozen sausage. I'm pretty sure this is a pound of roll. Wait a minute. Yes, it is. Good. Okay. Did not lose my mind. So I'm just running some cold water over these for a minute here to loosen up the wrapping enough. And then I will probably throw half of these in the Dutch oven and half of these in my big cast iron pan. It's kind of like six pounds each and get them cooking too. And then I've got two and a half pounds of ground beef that I need to cook for a three casserole video that I'm finishing up for you guys. I'm thinking I might even just throw that in the Instant Pot since I'll have some hands-on cooking going on at the stove. So I've got this five pound roll of ground chuck. This is 80-20. 
my Walmart has had these lately, so I'm gonna just cut it in the middle, then put half of it in my Instant Pot here with a cup of water and have it cook for me while I do other things. There we go, I'll just run it at that, yay. Just showing you, the only kiddos that are left at the table, with Gabriel's on his last thing. Naomi's been doing other stuff all morning, so she's just getting started. So she's got a couple hours here. And then Zion is doing his work in his room. Travis is back now, and I've got Liam and Daniel and Benjamin and Amelia running in the sunshine, and they're all done with their schoolwork. So now, as you see, I'm transitioning into some cooking and filming I need to get done this afternoon. So this is obviously what this mama is doing for the rest of the day and a bunch this weekend. I'm actually gonna cook up my new large family freezer meal pack 10 this afternoon. Tomorrow, I'm gonna cook up the large family freezer meal pack 11, which is all about kids lunches, kid friendly lunches. And then on Monday, I'm going to do large family freezer meal pack 12, which is a new dinner pack. So you'll be seeing all of that large family freezer meals coming up. I'm gonna get my freezer stocked up well with convenient, no-brainer freezer meals for me and my folks. Don't forget that everything in my large family table shop is on sale the first time in over a year. You can get my mega deal, get it all bundle that has absolutely everything in my shop. All 12 freezer cooking packs, my slow cooker meal plans, new baking book, another freezer cooking book, just it's a lot of stuff. It's 25 products. You can get all of that in one mega deal bundle for 75% off for a limited time. Also individual products and smaller bundles. Everything's all marked down up to 75% off. So click the first link in the description below. Go over and get yourself the mega bundle deal. And I'll see you real soon with another brand new video. Again, mama's gonna do a whole lot, a lot of cooking. Thanks for spending the week with us. Bye-bye. <music>